Caddis Maximus here doing a kind of initial impressions review. This is the Harbor Freight Icon 3 inch deep well fractional socket set. And uh, with a the coupon, they're like 32 bucks. They're actually pretty cheap. My real reason for getting these, for the longest time, I've only had a seven piece fractional set. So I decided to pick this up. Although my fractional set went from half inch through seven eighths and I don't get gain anything on the larger sizes. But they do give you a quarter inch and 11 30 seconds. This is uh, one of those sets which is uh, annoying. What is annoying me about the Harbor Freight Icon is like almost complete sets. Like this set is almost complete. It would be missing the 9 30 seconds. It's missing the 15 16 and the one inch. And it just doesn't make any sense uh, on the chrome sockets. They also have a different style tray which is more concentrated than the trays on the impact sockets. And the impact socket set, they sacrifice the quarter inch to 11 30 seconds, then goes from 5 16 through 1 inch by 16 And so it just doesn't make any sense that it's different sizing between those. Maybe they're hoping you'd buy them both or something, but they come on, charge 5 or 10 bucks more and just make it a full 15 piece set. Certainly, I've seen some of the videos and uh, online reports of these being kind of soft and wanting to get dented up. And uh, we'll just see how they hold up. That's kind of why I got them, is just to see how they hold up and uh, do an updated review in the future. These also do this thing where on shorewell sockets, they will have varying sizes just because as you go up to the larger fasteners, you just want a little bit deeper of a socket to make sure you have full grip. That's not an issue in deep wells. And with there are standards in deep wells, two inches for quarter inch, two inches long or 50 millimeters for quarter inch, uh, 65 or 60 three 65 millimeters or two and a half inches for three eighths inch drive sockets and half inch drive chrome sockets would be three inches for the deep wells. But what they've done is they've made them all uh, kind of different sizes, but on the impacts they're all standard two and a half inch tall and they're all in the same height. And so I kind of wish I would, they would have done that because many times when you're going with a deep well or a three eighths deep well, it's because you want something a little bit more than what a quarter inch has. And that's what's frustrating. Maybe I'm using a quarter inch 5 16 deep well here. This is a Napa Carlisle and say, oh, not quite enough reach. I'll just grab a three eighths deep well, except for it's barely any longer and it should be significantly longer, such as let me grab this impact socket. It should be significantly longer. And so that's what's the first frustrating thing about it. And it's kind of nonsensical because if we go to say the half inch, then the standard length, the icon half inch is much shorter than a standard length three eighths half inch. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, they'll work out okay, but there's going to be situations where these shorter sockets are going to be just a little bit annoying. And then actually, let me break out the five sixteenths again. Uh, they've been advertising on both the cases, you know, uh, mid broaching, so they it holds the fastener closer to the end of the socket. They advertise out on both of these sockets, but there's a distinct difference between how deep the broaching is, because on the impact sockets it's still about halfway down. I mean, the fastener goes way down, but on the chrome one, surprisingly enough, it really is shallow broached right at the end. And so I'm just kind of curious about that inconsistency as well. And something I was noticing, particularly on both of these 5 16 if I rotate these around in the light, you can see that they're not broached totally centered. And neither is the impact socket, surprisingly enough. So you can see it's offset to the left there. We'll turn this one so it's offset to the left. You can really tell when they're not broach centered. And so that's just a little bit annoying. It only seems to be a couple sockets where it's like that. And they are pretty cheap, but I did want to point that out. So anyway, Harbor Freight, I don't know where they're getting, you know, who's at corporate is making a lot of these recommendations or these purchasing decisions for these contracts. Uh, but some of the ideas are just a little bit harebrained and they should have just a bit more consistency, consistency through their socket sets. And if you're going to sell almost complete socket sets, why short on just two sockets or three sockets? It's really... Uh, kind of annoying, especially when you know you don't sell any uh, individuals to complete them, so people are still stuck uh, trying to buy extra sockets. Yes, these are wider sets than what the Pittsburghs or the Quins would be, but still, uh, just cutting themselves a bit short. And once again, we'll see how these hold up in the long run. And then this variable sizing is not something that's my personal favorite, but with a hard 20% off coupon. <laughs> The set of sockets was $32, so it wasn't such a uh, big expense. 
Besides that, I will finish off with the uh, fit and finish. I mean, as far as how these look as sockets, they look great. You know, if they didn't have icon stamped on them, you know, you they could certainly have a more expensive brand. They certainly look uh, fine. The chrome plating is pretty nice. Once again, they do have the shallow broaching, all the fluting, nice deep uh, undercuts for the detent, nice uh, thick and oversized roll stamp. So overall, that's good, but we'll just see how soft they are and how badly dinged up and rounded out they get. As well as let, let you know if these really these two and a quarter inch tall, uh, smaller sockets really end up being a, a big frustration. It just seems odd that these are just, they have this odd length sizing when the impact ones are just regular two and a half inch tall sockets like you would expect. Anyway, that was my quick little review of these, uh, the Harbor Freight Icon Chrome sockets. A lot of people have asked if I was going to get a set just to talk about them. And so uh, I decided to go ahead and do that and once again expand my fractional set. And a quick note, uh, many times you do want fractional and metric unless you really are specific on working on, you know, certain types of import automobiles and you basically don't do a lot of work on anything else, then you could get away with just metric. But if you work on a variety of stuff or you know, anything from lawnmowers to cars and trucks, then you're going to want to want both because many times there'll be fasteners that are either worn or missized and you'll be using a fractional socket on a metric fastener just because it fits tighter and vice versa, a metric socket on a fractional fastener. And remember, like, you know, a significant portion of fat bolts are rounded out, not because they are just weak and really jammed, although that's, a you know, obviously a huge portion of them. It's just that people are, are trying to get by using not quite the right fitting socket and then that just asks for trouble because it partially rounds it out. Then even if you do use the correct size socket, it has less material to grab onto. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.